So, welcome to my non-scientific review of MIG Atom Acrylic Colours Matte Finish Acrylic Paint Formulated for Maximum Performance Using Both Brush and Airbrush This formula is self-leveling and has great covering power. Shake before use, fast drying, non-toxic, and it doesn't stink. Which is good, because my favourite MRP acrylics stink to high heaven. <coughs> I have to wear face covering and open the windows and shut the door in this uh, man cave as you can see i've had a little go off camera i had a little bit of sputtering when i took my finger off the trigger and pressed it again but if i kept the trigger pressed down and just went backwards and forwards there was nothing you can see little tiny bits it was accumulating on the uh, tip of the needle. So what I've done is I've thinned it down just with some water because it's acrylic. And uh, I'll have another little go and see what occurs. It's definitely covering better with uh, thinned down. Still a bit of splatter. If that's the airbrush, then I'm very, very disappointed with it. Covers well, from what I can see. It's covered nicely. And I'll show you the other bit that I painted, which is this. It dries really quick. Nice and flat, nice and matte. Tickety boo. This is the Rubicon Models King Tiger 156 scale with full interior. And uh, if you've never, uh, if you've not built a Rubicon Models kit, then I urge you to because they're beautiful. No, I'm not paid by a Rubicon Models at all. So what you get, production turret without zim, and you get production turret with zim, pre-production turret with zim. commonly known as the Henshaw and the Porsche turrets, but that's pretty much the wrong naming of them. Uh, so you can see there what I've done. There's all the uh, shells, fans for the engine, the engine, etc., etc. Right, let's have a look at some of Now, my plan is to use the production turret with the flatter front. So I'm going to stick some paint on this uh, other one and we'll see how we go. No complaints from me there. Still accumulating on the tip.
good coverage. Uh, this is this primer is the Mr. Hobby uh, mahogany rattle can. Very stinky, very uh, chemically. So you need to be careful with it. It's covering well. That's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Probably still need to adjust the uh, air pressure on it. That I've got a Mac valve on this uh, quick release thing, but the Mac valve is pretty crap. Either see there, turn it down a notch, and it's absolutely nothing. And you can see how much paint has accumulated where it's the pressure hasn't been enough. Still a little blob on it. Yeah, I'm going to have to work out what the problem is with that. Not overly impressed. But it could be the airbrush. I'll do a... I'll do a test on my... Uh, this is my go-to airbrush. This is a Chinese... Fengda BD-180. I think it's a 0 0.25 needle cost me 47 quid I think and it is an absolute killer it's a fantastic airbrush it's what I do all my free tone camo with all the straight lines and everything it's a beautiful brush so I'll test these paints out with that tomorrow and uh, see what happens but it's not too bad Seems to be covering all right. Well, that's my non-scientific review. Pretty good. Non-smelling. I also got the Feld Grout. I'm going to probably use that for doing figures. Give it a go. I've got the Olive Grunt, which I'll use in the uh, Free Tone Camo. I've got a Dark Wood. I've got a Russian Uniform Green. I've got a Rubber and Tires, which I've got two different brands of Rubber and Tires, but I just thought I'd try that. And I've got an Olive Drab. So that's it. I'm happy with the coverage. I'm happy with the colour. I like the colour. I oversprayed it too much on there. That's why it's still really wet. But you can see it's gone right in the zim and covered up the uh, mahogany primer nicely. So that's it. That's my little non-scientific amateurish review of the Atom from Mr. Mig. They've all got stirring balls in them. They've all got the flip lid and they're, they're all dropper bottles. So lightly squeeze it, drop, 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 squeeze it a bit more and a bit more comes out. Anyway, take care, everyone. Catch you later.